I think it's crazy that this administration has refused to provide Congress these documents for over a year. You know, somebody that ran for office on transparency has failed to do so greatly. It's also crazy to me that this committee is not exercising its proper oversight of the State Department, given this abject failure. To me, this means that these documents in question disprove Secretary Blinken and the administration's claim that they plan for every contingency. They obviously did not. And folks need to know why this administration waited until August 14th to begin making decisions about evacuations. And why at the height of these eva evacuations, only 36 consular officials were on the ground. And why the administration ignored an offer from Guam to serve as an interim processing location for the SIVs. Furthermore, why was the Taliban offered to give the U.S. more control of Kabul's security during the evacuation turned down? I could go on, but because of these policy failures, a young man whose family lives in my district, who I know very well, Staff Sergeant Ryan Knaus, and 12 others perished needlessly, Americans fighting men and women, in addition to the scores upon scores of dead Afghans. The American people deserve to know how the administration bungled this so badly, and they should feel the heat if they continue this cover-up. Mr. Chairman, I yield.